We're back, YouTube. Thank you for tuning in. As always, I appreciate that. And today, let's talk about Cyberpunk 2077, an upcoming game by CD Projekt Red. And we don't know a lot about this RPG, well, other than that it is an RPG. It hopefully, it will surface at E3 this year, but we don't know a lot about it. And there are five things that I would like to see in CD Projekt Red's new uh, project, <laughs> so to speak. Um, and first and foremost, that's going to be an interesting lead character. Now, in the Witcher series, we had Geralt of Rivia. He's a very interesting character. like him a lot. He's a monster slayer. He's a monster himself. But he's not really part of society, but society needs him to slay monsters, so that makes him quite the standout character, so to speak. So I'm looking forward to a new character and if I'm going to spend a lot of hours playing a certain character, then please make sure that that character is interesting to play as. Secondly, I'd like to see something, well, not appear in Cyberpunk 2077, that is in Witcher 3, and that's leveled loot. Which means that in Witcher 3, if you'd find this badass new sword or armor piece, it had a specific level number. Now, if you had not reached that level number, you couldn't use that sword or that piece of armor, which meant that you'd be taking it with you in your backpack uh, for hours and hours until you've reached that level and you could actually use it. That makes really no sense, in, especially in the Witcher world. I mean, if Geralt of Rivia would find a sword that would suit him, he's probably going to use it. He's not going to put it in his backpack and uh, have it there for hours and hours. So. Moving on, the third thing I'd like to see is factions. I like factions in all the Bethesda games. I like joining them, I like rising in the ranks of them, I like getting the rewards for them. Now the world of The Witcher doesn't make sense to have a lot of factions. I mean, Geralt's not gonna join any factions, he's gonna join the Thieves Guild or, you know, the Warriors Guild or whatever guild. He's gonna be on his own, but in Cyberpunk 2077, that world, that Cyberpunk world, is probably gonna be filled with factions. I mean, that would be a really interesting thing. Moving on, I think it would also be interesting to have dungeons or, let's say, an upper world and a lower world with all kinds of tunnels, like a metro, you know, a metro kind of thing going on where there are tunnels and different, also factions or people living there. That would be interesting, because Witcher 3 didn't have, like, dungeons. There were dungeons, but they weren't very interesting. There were places usually where monster hi monsters hid, or you'd go to fetch something. So yeah, I'd like to see that. And last but not least, I'd like to see ways to resolve quests without resorting to violence. So, to have conversation options, to uh, have a non-lethal um, approach to certain situations. So, yes, um, choices and consequences, but also uh, lethal and non-lethal options. I would like to see that. And that's pretty much it.